Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys missed me last week because I missed you guys. Um, I decided to take a little break just because it was Super Bowl Sunday and also just so I could take some um, rest time, some well needed rest time for myself. And so yeah, but as you can tell by today's uh, video, the title of the video, we are going to be talking about perfumes and smelling good and this is like literally my favorite topic. If you know me, you know I've become obsessed with perfumes and I'm not talking Bath and Body Works. I'm not talking Victoria's Secrets. We're too grown for that. No hate, I'm not knocking if you still wear that, if that's what you wanna wear, do you? But as for me and my house, <laughs> we're gonna wear perfumes and I'm talking about the grown woman perfumes and I'm just gonna be telling you guys some of my favorite fragrances and what I, um, tend to shop for and look for when it comes to a perfume so let's go ahead and get started i do just want to put this out there that as a disclaimer perfumes can be expensive but you do not do not do not do not have to go buy all the expensive perfumes that you may see on tiktok or instagram or so whatever get literally whatever smells good to you that's what i'm saying i'm not knocking anybody who wears victoria's secret anybody who wears bath and body works if it smells good to you and it works for you make it work for you but like i said for me in my house we gonna wear perfumes but yeah i just want to put that out there um i literally i follow all the like tiktoker perfume like the black girl luxury and all that stuff on tiktok and i went to go smell some of them popular scents and they stink like absolutely disgusting so i would never put that on my body because <laughs> it stinks so um that's why i said just gets what works best for you but let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna be including the prices and also the uh sent descriptions for you guys i tried to look them up so if you guys see me looking at my other phone here that is what i'm doing but let's go ahead and get started um let's see i want to start with the first one that i ever bought out of my collection well i didn't buy this one i got it from a friend for uh thanksgiving no christmas i got it from a friend um and it's the ariana grande cloud um just looks like this and this it actually comes like in a little cloud but i just took it out because it was a little kiddish to me but this is a great starter for um anybody who wants to start getting the perfumes i absolutely love this one i love it so much that i also got hold on i also got the body spray so what i do is i'll spray this at home then i'll take this with me if i'm like going somewhere so i can re-up my scent but usually you don't have to re-up your scent and this last i would recommend spraying this on your clothes like on a jacket or something that you might wear every day it lasts so long and it's so amazing i love this scent oh, i love this scent so much i even know men that wear this i seen a guy on tiktok he wears the ariana grande they came out with a new one 2.0 he wears that one and i think it is a unisex perfume but um this the keynote the top is lavender blossom juicy pear and bergamot we're gonna get into bergamot because okay we're gonna get into that and then the heart of it is cream uh de coconut indulgent perline vanilla orchard and the base is a uh, sensual musk creamy blonde wood so that smells so good but going back to bergamot anything that has bergamot in it and vanilla that's literally what I tend to gravitate towards when it comes to a perfume. So you're gonna hear bergamot and vanilla a lot in these descriptions. I just wanted to put that out there as well. But yeah, Ariana Grande Cloud is very good. Um, you can get these at Ulta or I believe Sephora as well. And I think um, this is the 1.7 fluid ounces and they do have a big one, but I think this one was like $55, which is not a bad price. It's rel relatively cheap for a perfume, so. And like I said, they also do have the body spray, which I got mine from Marshalls, but I'm sure they have it like at Ross or even Amazon or eBay. But yeah, Ariana Grande Cloud, we love her. Let's go into our second one. Okay, so our second one is a new purchase. So I haven't really um, got to wear this one a lot. Um, if you watched my last video, you will see that I got it in the haul. Um, I first smelled this at Bloomingdale's, but it was just so expensive at Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's can be expensive so your girl went over to ulta no sephora and i bought it there and it's the chance by chanel we say chance but it's actually chance um chance oh tender i i butchered the name but it's the chance 
Chance by Chanel and it's your Tendere. I'll put it somewhere over here so you guys can see. Um, this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle and this was $95 at Sephora, like I said. Um, it's Chanel, so you 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 know you're gonna pay a pretty penny for it. Like $95, it's not the most expensive that I paid for a perfume, but it is kind of expensive for this size. But like I said, it's Chanel, and this is one of the only Chanel perfumes that I like. When I literally say I walked around the whole Bloomingdale's trying to smell Chanel, this is the only one that smells good. Chanel number no. five stinks. And you'll probably see a lot of people have that, probably just for the name, but Chanel number no. five, it stinks. If you wear it, I'm sorry. Maybe it smells good on your body chemistry, but it stinks to me and it stinks on with my body chemistry. So this is the only Chanel one that I like. Um, I did send, <laughs> I sent the package to my uh, TikTok friend, Lionel. Shout out to you if you're watching. And I sprayed this on the tags and it lasted a long time. Like I sprayed it on there and um, I shipped it to him in Alabama and they still could smell it. So this lasts a long time. So I'm saving her for special occasions, okay? Cause she smells really good. But yeah, I love that one. I was trying to find like the details for you guys, but I can't even remember if this is the right one or not. I think it is. Yes, it is. So the keynotes of it is citron, jasmine, and teakwood. So that smells really good. But the next one we're going to go into, um, I do not have a description of this. And as you guys can see, it is about empty. Um, this is the DKNY B Extra Delicious. They have the X B Delicious, but this is the Extra Delicious. This just smells like candy. It's sweet. <laughs> it's really, really sweet. It smells like absolute candy. Like I, I, was, I was in love with it. If you guys can see, it's almost gone. I need to go get another one. But um, for 1.7 fluid ounces, which is pretty much, it could be this size and this type of bottle or these two, all of these are 1.7 fluid ounces. Um, but this one I got at Kohl's and I believe it's like $70. But like I said, it just smells like candy. You just want to smell sweet and like candy get this one like it literally smells like oh we don't want to waste it but it smells like a to me <laughs> to me it just smells like a like a sweet like candy like I don't know. It just smells like candy. <laughs> but um, I don't have the descriptions of that. Sorry. But um, like I said, it's DKNY. Be extra delicious. And like I said, I think I paid like $70 for it. And they also have the Be Delicious. I don't know what that one smells like. But the Be Extra Delicious smells like candy. Candy. I can eat it off the top. I don't even know if that's the lyrics. But that's fine. Okay. But anyways, it smells like candy. And it smells extra delicious. Like the name of it per okay um let's see which one we have next so uh, speaking of bergamot guys speaking of bergamot guys um i have philosophy amazing grace bergamots and this right here she's like the freshest thing this freshest smelling on my tray like I um, first heard of philosophy from my grandma. She wears philosophy and she gifts us with philosophy like every Christmas, which I love because we love it. But I got um, the bergamot and a scent bird. I used to have scent bird as well, which is a great way to uh, get into some perfumes if you don't know exactly what you like. They send you like two every month. It is a subscription base. You can do that. Um, I did that and that's how I kind of got in perfumes and kind of like, you know, found some staples that I like and this was one of the ones that I got away with and then I think this was about, uh, I want to say like 70, maybe like 60, no, $52, $52 at Ulta, Ulta sells the philosophy brands and I absolutely love it, you can also get it off philosophy.com, but, um, bergamot, I love it, so some of the key notes of it is bergamot, honest, obviously, um, Cedric and please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing some of these names because they just say anything for no reason. Um, Neroli, grapefruit, and that's the top sense. The middle is rose, jasmine, maggots, 
and orange blossom and then you have the bottom which is a musk blend i absolutely love this i gifted my sisters um a philosophy um perfume set like the little trial sizes i guess that's the right word and my sister literally told me like she got so many compliments by wearing this one i think it was this one but i absolutely love this and i do get a lot of compliments when i wear this as well like i said it just smells very fresh anything bergamot smells like really really fresh uh, i think i believe bergamot is like a flower or something but it just smells oh it just smells so good like this is like the reason why i was saving it um i used to wear it like every day with my everyday perfume but i started saving it because it's gonna be my summer scent so if you ever see me in the summertime and you smell me you know she got on amazing grace okay my next one by philosophy that i absolutely love because your girl like vanillas and like brown sugars and shea butters and creams and all that type of stuff so it only makes sense that I got this one, but this is Philosophy Fresh Cream. Now they do have a Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, which I have not smelled, but I've seen them on Google. So I need to go and smell that one. But this fresh cream, I actually have it on my hand. It just smells, it smells like what you would think it would smell like, like a, like a, like a cream, uh, like coffee or something. Like this has, um, Forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. Helotrope, vanilla, whipped cream, and macadamia nut. So it just, that's literally what it smells like. It's like a fresh baked macadamia nut cookie. Like it smells so good, but it doesn't like smell like artificial. Like I like, I hate like, they be like, oh, it's gonna smell like vanilla. And it smells like artificial vanilla. Like I hate them types of scents. This smells really, really nice and good. Okay. So I got the fresh cream and to put on top of this, I'm, I'm putting y'all on. I'm about to give y'all a secret and put y'all on mix this i know people like don't mix perfume but you definitely can mix this with this you don't smell like a whole bakery out in these streets you hear me mix this with this because this is fresh cream and it has vanilla in it but this to put y'all on is a vanilla musk fragrance oil so anything that has vanilla in it, so any perfume of mine that has vanilla in it, you can mix it with this vanilla must, and it's just gonna take that vanilla up a notch. We love to smell like vanilla, vanilla just smells good. Everybody know what vanilla smells like, it just smells. So good and like sweet and creamy, but if you know, you know about oils, they stay longer than like perfumes, body sprays, mist, anything of that nature. So you mix this with your fresh cream. I'm trying to put y'all on, which y'all not listening, but if y'all don't want to hear it, that's fine with me, but this is by Numont, and I got it at Ulta. They also have an um, Egyptian musk and an amber musk, so anything that has like Egyptian in it or amber in it, mix it with the other perfumes. We own to something. We own to something, okay? But yeah, this smells so good, and it's like in this little sample aisle. You're not going to find it in like the perfume aisles. You want to find it in the sample aisle. Um, not the sample aisle, but like when you're about to check out, it's going to be there. You look for it. I got the last vanilla must. Like, I had to go. But this right here, even by itself, it smells good, but just like put adding it with, you just need a little bit, like literally, like you know how they put oil on your forehead when you walk up to the altar and they be like, like, yeah, that's all you need. And you just put it on, put it in your hot spots. I ain't putting nothing on today, so I can put some on. Literally, huh? Heaven sent. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, let's keep going. Because I could talk about perfumes all day. Um, I don't even know what this one is. Oh, this one is... Um, so this is a little a lower end one. Um, like I said, I have all the prices and stuff on the screen so you guys can see it. But this one I got from Marshall's like $7.99. That's what I'm saying. Like whatever smells good to you, wear it and buy it. Like who cares what anybody else says about your perfume, you know. Whatever you think smells good, get it. Like I go to Marshall's and I look for stuff. Because you know Marshall's got, they got name brands and then some not name brands. So some of the uh, name brands you can't really smell. But there's something like that's just sitting out there you can smell it guys this was my summer scent this past summer and i'm saving it i need to go see if i can find another one but it's um so obvi by palm beach beauty i think you can get it on their website too it's palm beach beauty i'll put it somewhere on here but this 
I literally get compliments. This is a strong perfume for $7.99. It smells like grapefruit and just summertime. It's like, oh my God. Like, it was one time, I kid you not, I went to the coffee shop when I moved up here and I had this on and literally when I walked in, everybody was like, you smell so good and I'm just like thank you I know and I was like what is it no she's like oh it's just something I got from Marshall but this is it I love it it smells so good like I said it was $7.99 it was 3.4 fluid ounces so that's a whole lot but I think I got like maybe this much left in the bottle so but these two are definitely gonna be my summer scents I absolutely love them I absolutely love them it's all right, and speaking of Marshalls, oh, the scent of that um, is floral, fruity musk green. This is according to the website. And then it has apple blossom, water lily, and soft musk in it. But it smells like grapefruits to me. Um, then also another one that I got at Marshalls. I don't really know the brands of anything. Uh, the brand of anything, but it's uh, Pierre Pondre. Pondre. It ain't nothing fancy. It was $17 in Marshalls, y'all. I looked at it. I said, oh, that bottle is pretty. And I was like, oh, let me, let me look at, let, let me, let me smell it. I'm like a grown woman, a grown. It smells like a fresh, like clean, like you just got out the shower, like soap. Like it smells like soap. It's giving me like soapy, but I really, I couldn't, I tried to find it. I probably didn't look hard enough, but to give you like the, 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 the can I talk the details of it? I'm trying to see if they have it on the back. They don't. But it just smells so good and clean. But like the only thing about this is I would definitely mix it with um another one of my perfumes because this was this doesn't last long so i wouldn't like put this on if i was going shopping because it doesn't last long i'll put this on maybe like if i was going um not even on a date i don't know why i would wear this too i've worn it a few times obviously but i think it's literally it's just it doesn't last long but i mean i wasn't really expecting a lot for 17 dollars, but it does smell really really good like it smells so good like this one would be like a fragrance that I would take like if I was going on vacation or something I would take this with me and um put it in my purse or something so I could just keep reapplying because you're gonna have to keep reapplying it maybe last like an hour or two so whenever it can last you an hour or two you can go to the grocery store because let me say speaking of the grocery store y'all I went to the grocery store today and I got so distracted because I didn't get nearly half the things that I needed that's on my list because I smelled a man if you know man cologne you know like when you smell a man you like Men colognes, they just linger more than women's colognes or perfumes. So I was like trying, I was going to hunt in the grocery store. I sure was to find this man that was smelling good. Let's see if he was cute. Found him on the cracker aisle. And because I went in, I had to pick me up some crackers. So it's not like I went on that aisle, you know, and just tried to see him, even though I was trying to see him. But I, I got me some crackers. I ate some. See? I got me some crackers. But, um yeah so i went and he was cute but i was too scared to say anything so i just got my crackers and went on and checked out if it meant to be it will be if it meant to be it'll be i can't be serious for nothing anyways um sticking with marshall's this is the last one that i got from marshall's like i said marshall's tj maxx and all them now i will say they might have an older like all their perfumes and stuff might be older brands and stuff that's like discontinued so do keep that in mind um yeah keep that in mind as well and then also like with like fragrance outlets and things like fragrance stuff like that make sure you guys are being careful there we go. make sure you guys are being careful when purchasing from them because um i do well i've had experience with a, a perfume that i smell is not the actual way the perfume smell so just be careful where you spend your coins and where you get your perfumes like i said i like to go to um ulta and sephora i know they pretty much have everything that i want online the uh direct website is always good um scent bird um uh, is good as well but you can be careful with those as well too just um, I would recommend getting, you know, directly from them or somewhere you trust where you spend your coins, you know, don't just be ordering off of different websites and everything like that because people crazy, people crazy. But um, 
I got this one from Marshalls and this is uh, Marc Jacobs is Honey. I think Daisy by Marc Jacobs stinks. <laughs> but if you think it smells good, by all means wear it. And it just stinks, on, like it doesn't stink, but it just doesn't go well for my body chemistry. Um, I've tried it, didn't like it. Cause I was trying to get it because you know, all the girls hype it up. So I wanted to be that girl with the Daisy by Marc Jacobs, but I just didn't like the smell of it. But I seen this one at Marshall's and it was on clearance for $26. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. But this one actually came in a box, like a box, but the box was open. I didn't open it, somebody else has opened it. But um, I had uh, smelled it and it smells so good. Like it literally smells like honey. Like it just smells so sweet. I also like this one for the summertime, but you gotta be careful of them bees, baby. <laughs> them bees. But I'm I'm so serious. Like this smells like honey. It smells so delicious and just light. Um, I think it's like it has some florals in it. I didn't look up the like description of it, but like I said, I'll put everything on the side so you guys can see and how much I paid for everything but this smells so good and like I said it's the honey by Marc Jacobs I got it from Marshall's for $26 but like I said I don't know if it's like discontinued or if it's old or anything like that but I seen Marc Jacobs and I was like what's it and I was like honey I was like I ain't never smell that but it just smells it just smells so good like oh <sighs> okay so now we're going to get into my most expensive perfumes that I've bought. And these will probably be the only most expensive. I, no, I lied. I got one more that I want to buy. Um, I just have to <laughs> get, work up the nerve to get it because I just want to get it. But I'm not going to tell you guys what it is just yet. But when I get it, I'll post it on my Instagram. That's why you should be make sure that you are following me on my Instagram at Tulele. So you can see when I post things like that, like so like that okay <laughs> but um anyways i got my i finally got it y'all my ysl the girls that get it get it and the girls who don't just won't okay because y'all probably like i'm not paying 140 dollars for a perfume but if you don't get it you don't get it this smells so good this one they have three different types um this one like i said i just got it like today and i maybe squirted like twice like I sprayed it like twice but this smells so good um so it has lavender essence orange blossom orchard um accord and warm vanilla y'all hear that vanilla ha! I'm trying to tell y'all something good this smells so good it just smells so grown and like this is the intense one. Like they have three different ones. This is the darker one. I told my mama, it don't just look like a nice, pretty bottle or like cognac or something. Like it's just so pretty and like in the sun and stuff. It's just so pretty, but baby, it smells so good. It smells so good and grown. Like this ain't getting worn every day. This 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 a special occasion right here baby you heard me you heard i know you heard me watching my video did you like it yet you better have <laughs> but anyways <laughs> this ysl smells so good and like i said i got mine from i don't even know if i said it but i got mine from uh ulta which is pretty much like all my perfumes honestly not gonna even hold you um but you could definitely order it on the um ysl website as well and yeah it's lavender essence orange blossom orchard and warm vanilla and this one i think um it's the only one that has like the vanilla scent in it out of the three um i think it's like three of them but yeah this was 140 dollars at ulta yes i really paid for it I did. Uh, last but not least that i have um i will kind of say i was a hype beast in getting this one but it does smell good but it just an, an acquired like an acquired smell like like i said i like bergamot and vanillas now um i don't even know if this has any bergamot or vanilla it does have vanilla in it but it's at the bottom but anyways um the carolina Herrera, Herrera i think i'm saying that right very good girl the red bottle the bottle got me the bottle sold me because what other perfume bottle you know shaped like this baby it's giving rich energy it's giving black girl luxury it's giving huh you said what to me i smell good baby get on <laughs> but no like this 
perfume is an acquired smell to me. I know um, people don't really like it. But I like it. I get a lot of compliments when I wear I this as well. Leave this out. Even though it's not technically a perfume, I just could not. I could not leave it out. My hair is so long. I could not leave it out, okay? This, if you know, you know. I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this already. I don't really know, but my everyday scent, literally what I wear every day, because I don't wear gravitate towards my perfumes every day. Um, at one point in time, I did. I wore my Ariana Grande every day, and then I did start to wear my um, Philosophy Amazing Grace Bergamot every day. But like, I was like, chill, girl. Like, chill. And uh, like I said, buying perfumes can be expensive and everything like that. Um, but I do try to treat myself at least once a month to a new perfume. You can save up for it, however you want to do it. It's your coin. Spend it however you want to. Um, but this is the last one that I want to show you guys. And I want to let you guys go because I know this is a kind of long video. And y'all probably tired of me talking. But I'm dropping some gems for y'all so you can be smelling good. Okay? Because when you smell good, you look good and you feel good. Period. Uh, okay? But anyways. Um... So if you ever go to Sephora and you are checking out or not checking out, I don't know. But if you ever want to go to Sephora and you want to smell really good, this, huh, this smells so good. Like I have to go get another one because I'm going to be almost out. This is what I keep in my bag. This is what I smell like every day. I get so many compliments off of it. Like, everyone's like you smell so good. You smell so good. You smell so good. This. This smells shea butter. It's giving shea butter, cocoa butter, um, amber. Like it's giving sandalwood. Like it's giving all of it. Like that's so. What is this? Is this is a Brazilian Crush, and it's forty. Um, I don't know. It's a hair and body fragrance mist. It's. You know, it smells so good. It's literally my everyday scent. Um, so the top fragrances are Black Amber Plum and Cream de Cassius. The mid is Jasmine Blooms and Brazilian Orchard. And then the bottom, well, the dry is Vanilla Woods and Warm Musk. Y'all heard it. Vanilla Musk, even though it says um, Vanilla Woods and Warm Musk, it has, still has vanilla and it still has a musk in it. So I mix these two together. Guys, I get so many compliments on this. And this is my everyday scent. Like, I walk into class. Even people have on masks. They're like, oh, my God, you smell so good. Like, I'll get into my lifts and my Ubers. You smell so good. Like, I get into the elevators or something to go downstairs. You smell so good. Like, everybody's like, you smell so good. Like, I get into cars. You smell so good. So, this pretty much, if you ever, like, smell me and I smell like just warm vanilla, like a sugar cookie. <laughs> I'm probably wearing this. This is my everyday scent. I want to see if they have a bigger bottle because, like I said, I know you guys are probably tired of me rambling. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've kind of seen that talk and sit down and talk videos are doing a little bit better on my channel. So I'll be trying to incorporate a little bit more of those for you guys on my channel. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, comment down below your favorite fragrances, um, some fragrances that you think I need to try or that you think I might like. And um, make sure you guys like this video if you like this type of content and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.